He has a private army of 18,000 men that he pays by pilfering the state budget. These are actual death squads that terrify the entire country. The time of Amin was a time of terror. We were in fear at that time, great fear of the soldiers. See. Mohamed Kisambira was Amin's banker before being imprisoned like many of the tyrant's collaborators. The method of killing people was by hitting them on the head with a hammer. See. So the, the civilian population was uh, terrified because of the acts of the soldiers. People were instilled with fear. But this time, Amin's mercenaries have failed. He has just learned that they have been ambushed and killed by his cousin Arube's men. Charles Arube and three other fellow Kakwas uh, instigated a coup d'etat. They took up positions in the key areas of the radio, television, and important government houses, and thought they had captured power. Charles Arube seems on the verge of winning the battle. Amin assembles his troops to launch a counterattack. I can remember that day our father came in, eh, putting on his revolvers each and everything. Then for him, he was in the office with other soldiers. So many soldiers came at home in state house. Eh? They were going eh, in, the, in the meeting like something. But we couldn't, eh? we couldn't know what was going on wrong. Amin gives his mercenaries the order to surround the building where Arubi and his men have regrouped and to await his orders before killing them. 